All right, guys. So, starting on my uh, two-inch body lift today, on my '98 Forerunner V6. Okay, quickly. First thing I uh, pretty much did was start prepping. I took the bumper off, as you can see. Um, what do you want to do? Second. I went ahead and loosened up that bolt right there that's holding the steering, size 12. All following this from floor crawler, just making my own. And then shaft right there, loosened up that bolt, which is also a 12. Okay. Last night I pretty much already took out the panels that go there to get access to my bolts. There's one there. There's one right there and there's one right here. Also in the trunk. Already last night, I prepped it up. I uh, took the panels off to get access to the bolt right there for the rear. Likewise with the other side. All right. There's my assistant for today. So what we're gonna go ahead and start doing is uh, loosening up. All the body mounts we're not taking it off we're just pretty much loosening all of the body mounts up the one right there there's a total of five on each side so next what i've done was remove the bolts here on one side we're going to start with the driver's side first and just having the bolts on the passenger side all loose i went ahead and Took out all the bolts. There's a bolt here. You have to remove this lock washer. It's a special type of lock washer that locks onto the body panel there. And I've come to notice that the driver's side, the middle, the middle, and the uh, front of the fender well here on the rear are all the same length bolts uh, the rear side is the only one that has a shorter bolt on it and the front bumper you can easily distinguish because it's totally different from how the rest of the uh, studs look like so after this we're gonna go ahead and uh, lift up the body here's my makeshift uh, this is a pretty sturdy box here that I got. I just put on top of the jack. And uh, I have a 2x4 here on the pinch weld of the body. And uh, hopefully that's even enough to uh, raise it all equally on one side. Alright. Alright, pretty much I'm just showing the lengths of uh, bolt sizes here. This here was off of the uh, front chassis part with the bumper. These three here are all from the middle under the driver, the center, and the passenger rear. And this is from the trunk. All right, as you can see, these three are the same right here. That's very distinctive to be the front and that's very distinctive to be the rear. Now I gotta take these washers out. I already lifted the one side of the driver so as you can see right here, it's raised up. And this is where the, uh, can you pick it up just a little bit more? Okay, watch it. Well, this is gonna go right here. Let's see, I got the uh, other mounts in already. One right there.
one right there. We have one more block. And the uh, third one right there. So now after I take the washers out, I'm gonna put it in to my new bolts here real quick. All these bolts are the same size that I got from Four Crawler. And as it sees here, that's how much longer it is with the new bolts. So I'll come on back as soon as I get all those squared away. All right, so I already have the uh, bolts mounted up. All tightened with the bushing. I did the steering. That took me some time right there because that connector piece on top came off the shaft and it was kind of tough finding the groove. But now uh, I got all the mounts. I got all the mounts in place, torqued down 20 pounds. I actually had to get longer studs because the studs that were provided for me for some reason weren't fitting up. So I had to get a seven inch studs for the whole um, body except for the rear and then uh here if you can see i just grinded off there was a tab there for extra support had to grind those off too just because when you put the adapter plate on to lift your bumper higher there's no um there's no notch there for the uh, studs to fit in so all right Coming back.